Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 239. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link. You can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 233 to 245. Hey, Trick 239, we're going to do a little algebra. We want to see how to plot a linear function in uh, in a chart. Now, uh, it's when you're doing um, functions of x charts in Excel, it's not like your handheld graphing calculator. You actually uh, have to put a bunch of data points in order for Excel to create a chart. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to first create our a little um, formula that will show us the function. We have x in this particular case is 12, the slope is uh, 2.5, and the y-intercept is 23.75. So we're going to do a little uh, formula equals in quotes, F, the open parentheses, end, double quote, ampersand, and we're going to click right there. So what we've done is we join. Here's some text, and here's that uh, variable there. And then we're going to join some more things. Uh, in quotes, close parentheses, space equals space. And here we want uh, end, double quote, ampersand, and we're going to take our m value, which is this right here, ampersand in quote space multiplication symbol space n double quote, ampersand times what? The particular value, ampersand, because we're going to join some more stuff in quotes, space plus space n double quote ampersand, uh, and then we need to have this. And then we're going to say ampersand and in quotes uh, a space and then an equal and then a space and then double quotes. And finally, we'll uh, be polite enough, we'll even put the answer here. So, so far in this uh, text formula, we have some text always in quotes. We have cell references. It's all joined together by ampersands. But you can actually do a calculation here too. So watch this. Uh, M times X plus your Y intercept. So that's um, an actual uh, calculating part of this text formula. And then you can hit Enter. And there it is. Now we can uh, go ahead and change our input. Let's change it to 10. right? And so you can see it changes. You could even change this here. Now I didn't. Uh, I should have uh, made these ones down here also equals F and then ampersand this T here. And then ampersand. So something like that. So now we, if we change this variable, it's reflected everywhere. Now, how do you plot? So that's interesting itself to have your little formula change there. But how do you plot um, a chart? You actually have to put your x value. So I just did a simple 0 to 12. And now let's do our little formula. Equals the slope. And that one needs to be locked because we're going to copy this formula down. So I'm going to hit F4 twice, dollar sign in front of the row reference, locks it going down, times our particular x, which we've put here, plus, and then we need to click on our y-intercept and hit F4 key once and twice, lock that going down too. That's it. This formula, this relative cell reference here, will pick up all the individual x as we copy it down, double click, and send it down. Now plotting. Be sure the x is to the left, y or f of x is to the right. You'll highlight it, including those little labels. And um, we're going to go up to, this is 2007, so I have to do insert charts and then xy scatter. Uh, now we can um, do a couple fancy things here. Uh, let's click on this label right here. And if you hit the F2 key, notice your cursor is flashing up there. When you type equals and then click on uh, this cell right here, this label is now linked to that cell. Enter. We can get rid of this. Delete. The keyboard shortcut for delete is delete. We need some labels here. So I'm going to go up to layout. These, this is a context sensitive um, uh, ribbon layout. And I'm going to go to axis titles. Let's do horizontal first. And I'm going to hit um, F2. And then click on my X. 
Enter. Well, that didn't work. I'm going to try this again. Hit F2. You see up there, it's got an equal sign. Then I'll click on this. And then I need to add one here. A layout, axis, vertical. And I'm going to maybe select uh, this one. Hit the F2, type equals. And I can't get to that Y, so I'm going to click right there. And then hit use my arrow key. No, that won't work. Notice uh, I'm going to change it to C. So now it's getting that C. Enter. So F of X. Uh, and we can uh, right click the data points and add trend line. Uh, linear. Uh, and then th that's it. This is 2007. Close. So there it is. Uh, we could have, uh, we could control Z. We don't actually need that because this is a linear one. We could just put the line. If I go up to design, chart types, I could then select one of these. And sure enough, there, there it is. All right, so uh, that's how you plot. I've done uh, some other videos about more complicated, um, whoops, more complicated functions of X, but this is a nice simple uh, linear one. And so the trick is that you have to actually have a bunch of data points in order to chart functions of X in Excel. All right, we'll see you next trick.